there's only one reason why I don't eat vegetables. And I know some of y'all are thinking that Lily Kane, she eats vegetables all of the time. I see her put seasonings and mustard on her meat. She's practically a vegan. Yes. And to those people who say that, I think y'all are crazy. You're very accurate. You're not wrong. I appreciate how precise you are. Anyway, Mother Nature created two types of food groups, plant foods and animal foods. And all living things have the same goal, survive and reproduce. This goes for cats, trees, skunks, fungus, lily flowers, lily cane. We're all just trying to survive and reproduce. Though I am not trying to reproduce anytime soon. Luckily for animals, if a predator is trying to attack them, animals have the ability to run, swim, jump, and fly away. But plants are stuck in the ground. So if a predator tries to eat them, the best way that plants can protect themselves is by creating chemical reactions that can fight back against predators. These chemical compounds are called anti-nutrients, or they're also called plant toxins. I don't like to use the phrase plant toxins anymore because I find that people think then therefore plants are toxic and there is a difference between toxins and toxic. It's a small difference, but it is a big difference at the end of the day. I just stick to using the word anti-nutrients since that's what they do. Anti-nutrients interfere with the absorption of nutrients. Some of these anti-nutrients include tannins, lectins, gluten, enzyme inhibitors, oxalates, phytates, and the list goes on. Essentially, Plants create these defense mechanisms as a way to protect themselves. So if a predator tries to eat them, then the predator becomes sick or even dies. <laughs> so extreme. Touch poison ivy, you get itchy. Eat too much asparagus, you'll have gas coming out of your buns. Eat a few raw kidney beans and you can die. Essentially, eating too many plants and therefore too many anti-nutrients can cause digestive distress ulcerative colitis, leaky gut, irritable bowel syndrome. It can cause skin issues, eczema, acne, psoriasis, rashes. Eating too many plants can cause things like allergies, arthritic pain, et cetera, et cetera. So when people hear that plants have anti-nutrients in them, which interfere with the absorption of nutrients and purposely are made to irritate those who eat them, the logical response would be, then I ain't eating plants. But the fact that plants have anti-nutrients in them is not the reason why I don't eat vegetables. I'm okay with eating something that has anti-nutrients in it. I know, call me a masochist. The question is, why am I okay with eating something even though it has plant toxins? Because I am okay with breathing the outdoor oxygen even though it has pollution. I have a cell phone, even though it gives off electromagnetic radiation. I wash my hands with tap water, even though it has mercury and lead in it. I eat off of silverware, even though it's putting metals into my body. I wear clothes all day on my skin that have plastics in them. I have metal in my ears. I have tattoos, so I have lead in my body. I wear makeup that even though it's non-toxic, it still has toxins. I sometimes hear the news and that the news, I think that is toxic. The point is, if I avoided all things that had toxins, I would live in a bubble and likely the bubble would be made of plastics and therefore I don't know where I would live. I'm just not convinced that if I were to have some Brussels sprouts today, that they would make me sick tomorrow because I've had Brussels sprouts before and they didn't do that to me. And there's nothing that can prove to me that if I have some Brussels sprouts today, that my life is therefore going to be cut short by three weeks, or I'm going to have 18 less hours of life because I had some Brussels sprouts today. Now, don't get me wrong. I think certain people should avoid certain plant foods for at least a certain period of time. That doesn't mean everyone, that doesn't mean all plant foods, and that doesn't mean always and forever. If someone has leaky gut, they may want to avoid high lectin foods, or at least for a certain period of time. 
If someone has kidney stones, they may want to avoid or limit high oxalate foods, at least temporarily. But just like how if someone has a cast on right now, they just broke their arm, they probably shouldn't be doing pull-ups and exercise. That doesn't mean that pull-ups and exercise is bad for everyone. And it doesn't mean that the person, once they heal their arm and they no longer have a cast, it doesn't mean they should never do a pull-up again. If someone has a reaction to a food today, that doesn't mean that food is going to cause them that same reaction for the rest of their life. And it also doesn't mean that everyone should avoid that food just because someone else says it's not good for them. The one and only reason why I don't eat vegetables, this is my scientific reason, is because I don't like the taste. This is pretty much the same conclusion I got out of Dr. Sean Baker when I asked him, why doesn't he eat vegetables? Yes, there's toxins in plants. Sure, and there's, there've always been toxins in plants. Are they problematic for every single person? No, not at all. I mean, there are people that live on a lot of plants and do just fine. I almost cringe as much as I see when I see veganism, when I see people out there saying, vegetables are poison, you shouldn't eat them. I don't like vegetables, I think they suck. I don't miss them at all, but I'm not gonna tell everybody they're poison or killing people. Now I do like grilled onions, sauteed mushrooms, artichoke hearts, and sweet potatoes. There are a few vegetables that I do like, and sometimes I will have them, but I like bacon more. It's like, you if I'm eating vegetables, I'm sacrificing eating something else. Just the other day, someone in my family who eats a standard American diet said that they've been trying to eat healthier, and then they realized they were talking to me, and they said, wait, I've been eating a salad every day for lunch. Do you think that me eating a salad is unhealthy? <laughs> you serious? I was like, what? No. Please, choose the salad over a thousand other things that you could choose from. I just don't choose to eat salads when I can choose to eat steak, chicken, bacon, venison, elk, fish. I would choose the whole Noah's Ark before I would ever choose a salad. But otherwise, no, I don't think eating salad is unhealthy. I will say though, that I think fruits and vegetables are quite expensive for what your overall getting out of them. Sure, fruits and vegetables do have vitamins and minerals in them, but not that much. I mean, because of the soil health today, there's a lot less vitamins and minerals in the fruits and vegetables because of the soil health, but then also plants do have anti-nutrients in them, which do bind to minerals. And so, you know, that adds to it too. So overall, I don't think I'm getting the biggest bang for my buck in terms of nutrients with fruits and vegetables. So if I eat them, I'm not doing it because I'm trying to get loads and loads of nutrition. If I eat them, I'm doing it because taste pleasure and just to add more flavor to my plate. But otherwise, I think fruits and vegetables are quite expensive considering the overall value they're giving me in terms of nutrition, but also taste. I would rather buy rack of lamb for $20 versus a beet for a dollar because to me, beets taste like dirt. So if beets tasted like steak, then I would pay the dollar. But otherwise, the grocery store would have to pay me to buy the beet. With fruit, it's a different story because it tastes delicious. So even though fruit has anti-nutrients in it, and even though fruit doesn't give me tons of vitamins and minerals, it tastes delicious. So the majority of my diet is going to come from meat and animal foods so I can get tons of nutrition. And then if I want a fruit, if I want a vegetable, then I'll have it, but mostly for taste. If I had a garden, this would be a completely different conversation because most of the fruits and vegetables in my grocery store are shipped from another country, meaning they're moldy, rotten, old, picked before ripe, sprayed with a bunch of pesticides, herbicides, Roundup, insecticides, sprayed with a bunch of chemicals that disrupt the gut microbiome. So that's also why I think that vegetables in my grocery store are expensive because I'm paying money for an old, sprayed with chemicals, not good tasting piece of food. If I had a garden though, I'd likely eat more produce. 
So I'm not afraid of eating vegetables and I don't think of vegetables as a bad food. Maybe for some people, I know my fiance, he loves the taste of vegetables, but sometimes they don't love him and they give him digestive issues. If we do have vegetables, we want to make sure to cook, boil, broil, grill, ferment, saute, sprout, soak. We want to make sure to cook down the vegetables to make them easier to digest. And then we also want them to be organic. So that way there's just less chemicals. Also, if someone is going to have vegetables every day, I would just rotate through them. That way I'm not bombarding my body with the same anti-nutrient over and over again. So for example, spinach higher in oxalates. I wouldn't want to have spinach every single day. I would want to maybe one day have spinach, then broccoli, then carrots, bok choy, and just rotate through the vegetables and cook them down. But with that being said, do vegetables always have to be cooked down? No. Do they always have to be organic? No. Do they always have to be rotated through? No. I would just prefer them to be cooked, rotated, and organic. But I mean, I know people who are in their 90s today who they don't always eat organic food. They don't always have their vegetables cooked. They may have the same vegetable every day for a month and yet they're in their 90s and they're still healthy. To summarize, I just don't eat vegetables because I don't like the taste. Some of them, I do like the taste. Sometimes I'll have them. I think last year I had two vegetables, hey. And maybe this year I'll have three, but otherwise I'll choose to eat steak.